This is the DeWalt Atomic DCD794D1. It is a $159 kit. It has two speed settings with 1650 RPM and DeWalt's three year tool warranty. Like I said, this is the DeWalt Compact Atomic Series. This is a new drill 15 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill, two speed modes, half inch fully metal truck with a plastic housing. It does have a single LED light on the base. The, uh, this light is not adjustable. Tool only weighs two pounds and 7.6 ounces. You add a two amp hour battery to that, three pounds and 4.4 ounces. See what this can do. First, let's try out the flex augers. Let's use the one inch. I'm just curious, does it click back one to lock? Yes, it does, but we don't do that. All right, speed one, battery is full, two amp hour battery. All right, that's given. Let's try it on speed two. Let's see if it's able to keep up. Nope, cannot on speed two. Let's give it another pull. Nope. All right, let's switch out a different battery. You know what, let's try the power stack five amp hour battery. Let's see if it can finish it. Nope, it cannot. And just out of curiosity, the four amp hour battery, let's see if it can finish that on speed two. No, it cannot. Alrighty, so speed one again, let's do a four amp hour battery. All right, so the tool, it's, it is pretty limited. Let's see if it could do an Irwin one and a half inch speed bore. Yes, it can, including take it out. Not bad, hey, just, it's, yeah, it can't do it on speed two, but that's all right. Most people do most of their stuff on speed one anyways. You have more control of the speed, like when, it, when you just use a lower speed. All right, I do wanna do a six amp hour flex bolt with a one and a half inch speed board again. We're gonna ignore that, that went on, on an angle. And let's do one more with the five amp hour power stack. That's just free spinning. All right, we're gonna ignore that. Try it one more time. It did it. That did it. It's not a bad little tool so far. Is it the most powerful? No, it's not. That was on a pressure treated 4x4, by the way. Let's test out the decibels really quick. Let's see on how loud this actually is. Now, I have this set to max, so whatever the loudest sound is, it's going to actually record that and keep it. So let's see. Eighty three decibels on speed one to speed two. Eighty four point three decibels. All right, the rest of the test, we're just going to use a two amp hour battery. We are going to use a Hilti nut setter bit. Alrighty, so we are going to do a six inch timber lock, a five inch ledger lock, a four inch by half inch lag. Then we'll see if we could actually accomplish a six inch by half inch lag. And how this works is we're going to put them all in the same hole and the hole gets deeper and wider as we go along because this way wood does not crack. We are going to try this on speed two. Let's see if we can do it. Battery is full still. Oh, let's take it out. No problem. Five inch ledge lock next. This ledger lock is a bit wider than the timber lock, so it's going to create new threads, but it's not as deep. 
It's actually not bad. 92.8 decibels. All right, next let's do a four inch by half inch lag. We will be using a Husky low profile socket and a three eighths adapt quarter inch X to three eighths adapter from Milwaukee. All right, let's see if we could actually accomplish this task. I'm not expecting it to. We will probably need, you know what? It's not gonna be able to do it on speed two. Let's go to speed one. You can do it. Did it do it? Yes, it did actually. Good job. Not bad. Not bad actually. All right, let's take that out. Hey, this guy's doing a one and uh, sorry, a four inch by half inch lag with a r compact drill driver. That's amazing, you guys. It really is. That's a difficult task. That is a very difficult task. But in the same hole, let's see if it can make this even deeper by two more inches. There we go. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it was not. Let's give it another pull. Nope. I'm curious though, let's see if we can do the last half an inch with a five amp hour power stack battery. Now it needs a couple of pulls, but technically it did it. Technically it put it in. All right, so let's uh, take it out. Let's see if it can. Yes, it can. Not too shabby. And I am so glad that DeWalt has a bunch of different assortment of batteries to choose from for different purposes. Yes, even the Flexible Advantage uh, batteries have 60 volt tools. You know, so there, these batteries aren't pointless themselves. They do have a purpose. And even batteries with 21700 cells for all the power that you would need to do whatever task you need to get done. B2, and just for show, sure, let's just do a three inch screw. Bam. Not too shabby if you ask me. I'm so glad that DeWalt actually finally upgraded their Atomic drill driver because I do have the original Atomic drill driver right here. It doesn't even say Atomic on it. This is the DCD708. And so yeah, this is their original one. And the XR did upgrade their compact tool as well. This one has an adjustable light on there that runs for 20 minutes. So yeah, versus video coming. Maybe all three of them need to be in that one. Right now, this is on sale over at Home Depot because you cannot buy Atomic over at Lowe's. The two amp hour battery has two bars remaining. More versus videos coming, you guys, along with many other videos. I'm excited to see what these two do against each other when it, when it comes to the power for the motor and how they act with certain batteries. I am excited that DeWalt finally came out with this model, the DCD794. And we were actually waiting on this for a while. Like a lot of people that were invested into the Atomic line were waiting for an update. And I'm glad that they finally did. And I finally got to test it out. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.